Stalker edition. I am turning 24 soon and I am still a virgin. I lurked on CC for a while and I am worried something is wrong with my head and I'll never understand how to behave in a relationship. I just want to not go to sleep listening to ASMR or crying until my chest hurts. Yes being pathetic, desperate and crying all the time is exactly what women want. You could turn a wet pee bleep into sandpaper with your personality. I don't like making generalizations but PHI Lothel Pierre is full of ugly ass C bleep bags, even the decent looking ones tend to be deep bleep hits in some way, women outnumber men here too so that doesn't help. David Lynch would agree with you. Ha I K R. That map is actually really interesting. Okay good one and on. I feel annoyed that anxiety and fear are thought to be the same thing when they are not. I have felt anxiety and fear at the same time, only anxiety and only fear, I know they're different emotions. Still in love with Skylar, still a complete loser, haven't worked or took a college class in three years, deleted all my social media and stopped talking to my last two friends now that Star W.A. Episode 9 came out I have no reason left to live. I went by myself to see it. Sky and his GF with my name have been dating for almost two years now, he seems happy. F bleeping stupid Nazi, Paul, black ass hat. If I wasn't in love with him I def bleeping hate him, I really need some weedy missed my therapy appointment yesterday. Sage. I know for a fact that you have somebody else on your mind. It's okay, I'll be happy for you if you find somebody. But can you at least tell me, if we keep going I'll get too attached and jealous. Just tell me to go or tell me it's just about sex. I can handle those. I can't handle fake feelings though. I wanna cry. I just want to be held gently and cared for a bit. I don't think you actually care about me. You always are texting or talking on the phone when we are together and you never ask me about myself. I think you just want to get sucked off. I wish you would be straight up because I can remove my emotions and be athlete buddies. But if not then it's going to hurt if we keep going and I feel emotional. You need to move on man, it's already over. Best of luck to you. I should die. Why? The lady at the food store is a loser. Him in hell. I'm not, not anymore. I won't let myself be pulled into hell again. I love life. I'm a lazy crybaby with issues I never talk about. I can't drive well and I throw up a good amount go times after driving I feel like I'm going nowhere despite getting my first job so late. Normal feeling, you have to keep moving forward eventually though. Don't stay in your first job too long as in a lot of years if it's something a 17 year old can get in. I'm a narcissistic piece of asleep. First step is acknowledging you have a problem, second is to take action and become a better person, I believe in you and on. I want the people I care about to hate me, but I know that would destroy me. WHHM I like this. Get the F bleep off of my S bleep and stop F bleeping with me. What the F bleep is wrong with you people? Can someone explain why you think I deserve this S bleep? I am unhappy with my job and I'm not sure if it's the job or if it's because I'm lazy and don't want to actually work. I've had jobs I enjoyed but they didn't pay much or were temporary, but my current job makes me dread going in every day even though it pays better than any other job I've had in the past. I f bleep at my sister. I could live my life happily without this knowledge. People that throw bottles on bike lanes should have the soles flogged with a rubber hose. People that throw bottles on bike lanes should have the soles flogged with a rubber hose. People who piss on the floor in a public restroom should be drowned in a tub of rotting s bleep. I think I want out of my relationship but sometimes I think there's hope. You think I don't know you stalk me. I allow you to for now. Have a front row seat in my life you hairy be bleep. One day I'll put an end to it. You're really not in control like you think. What are they doing that constitutes you accusing them of stalking you? What is stopping you from putting an end to it now? You sound like a dumb f bleep infb bleep to be around. I remember when I felt schizophrenic, good times, the paranoia was just amazing. Half the time I felt like I predicted s bleep. I wish you weren't so open on things like having sex with relays. All of these themed tattoos, drawings. What were you thinking? G-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-H I'm sorry I'm such a social r bleep. How so? It was all in my head. I don't know what to do about you. I'm very impatient. Hey. I've already resolved what to do. But I need to clear my head. I met a girl at church a few weeks back. I only just started going. She's 18, I'm 21. Her mother and her siblings go to the church. 
I spoke to her the first time I went, she was nervous and I spoke total nonsense about uni. I didn't think anything of it, then we met two weeks after, and she was nervous again, constantly smiling, but hard to have conversation with, I'm not totally autistic, I get it now. I didn't register then, then I noticed the week after, she had her back turned to me, but she knew I was there. I saw the hesitation, but she turned round to speak to me. I've never felt such a feeling, a girl who wanted to speak to me. I'm usually the one who has to anyway. She was nervous again, and she gave one-liners again, but I couldn't help but think about it. I guess what holds me back is the fact it's a church setting. I don't know this life well. I became a Christian when I was 16, never met girls through church. Will this cause a scandal? I doubt it, but this worries me still. I asked two friends, one Christian IRL, and another internet friend. They said hold off for another week before asking to meet up. I did, and last week I walked over. It went well. She wasn't as nervous anymore, and there was more back and forth. So I resolved to do it, and that's what I've debated the past week. I kept myself up thinking about it. My work has suffered a lot this week, but I couldn't stop thinking about her. I am nervous. Nervous. What if somebody sees her giving over her number if she says yes? What if she says no? Do I have to leave the church due to embarrassment, but I'd regret it if I didn't ask? Sir, I will. I've ran through every scenario, but I can't not ask her. I would seek my friend's counsel, but this is on me. I'll ask what she's doing this week, casually slip in suggestion. If she says yes, we'll sort it from there. If no, then end bleep other, but I hope you say yes B, I hope so. Wait on on talk to the mom, she'll set you up if you are a good guy. You'll also go the trad way by talking to her parents and it's advantageous to get to know her. Sounds like you're doing really poorly and spiraling out of control. God I love to see it. Happy crying face, maybe you really are one of those people that just doesn't really go anywhere in life because the personality is so toxic that it holds them way the f bleep back. Will you catch your big break or will you keep starting over at new jobs and making your girlfriends miserable? Quote, 21,778,499, just do it, and on. If it's love, it's love. Eventually meet each other's family, make everyone aware you like each other if it turns out great. Marry her if she's the one, don't use her, be good to her. Thanks for the good words. Let's see what happens. Nasty sister F bleeper. Sinful P bleep is the grossest P bleep, a mere What? A non the F bleeper, their own sister. No fap and no porn really changed my life. How so? I'm a guy recently I've been addicted to sappy romance fiction gear towards teens. I feel pretty embarrassed by it but at the same time I kinda just want to cry knowing I'll never have something like that. I'm f bleeping 23k hv and there's not exactly many innocent girls who are going to get all excited over a kiss or going out on a picnic talking to others I feel like something is wrong with me, my friends think it's ridiculous that I haven't jerked off for over half a year but at the same time I can't shake the feeling that it's everyone else that's sick and it's driving me nuts and I can't even look at people right because of it. I've been clinging to self-improvement as an autistic way of avoiding it but I'm still in the same spot coping in a fantasy. I have never tried my best at anything. This hurts me more than I expected. You have to have dreams before you are disillusioned by procrastination. Don't jump ahead of yourself. 